Hi and welcome back. Just to before we start, want to let you guys know that this Springbone feature is something that came together with this Unity Chan Tune Shader. So you can see, this is Spring Manager. Manage all the different Spring Bones. And with this, you can see the parts bouncing during any movement of the character. Alright, so let's start off. I will be applying this spring bone on my character. Firstly, I will be looking at the spring bone as reference. So I'll just copy this. I go to my character and it's a hair, the hair bones that you see I added in the previous video. And I'll just paste component as new. And then one thing to take note is the bone axis. What does it mean is that where do you want the bone to be facing by default? So right now, this bone is facing down in the direction of the green arrow. And so that is the Y. And Y has to be 1. Or the rest will be 0. And for example, this one is facing this way. Sorry. And you can see that they are all pointing at the Y direction. So that is it for the bones. Spring bone. Next, we will be adding the colliders. So I'm going to create a collider from the head. So I'll create empty. Now name it locator. Upper. Uh, bring it higher. Then we'll add a spring bone, spring collider. And resize it. So point eleven. Will be just nice. So what is this spring collider is to prevent the bone from going inside the head. And so I'll be creating another collider. I'll call it locator. No. Add collider. This one I want it to be so find your it and just the that position. Right, there it is, and so I'm going to assign this collider to the head. Colliders are uh, increased to 2. I'll assign the 
both to report in a layer. Pixel right and that should be it. I just want to change the radius size to series of n so three. Okay, and I'm gonna once I'm satisfied with all these settings, I will copy it. I'll paste it to every single hair bone that I have. Every single head one. And I've created a spring bone for all this hair 1 to 11 and hair fringe 1 to 3. I'll not be touching the root because that does not need to be moved. And so, the next thing that we need to do is to assign a child. So if you export this character with the leaf bones ah, then you automatically add an additional end bone to every single bone that is at the end of the hierarchy Okay, so we have we are done with the signing of the child and now we'll move to the spring bone manager spring manager. So I have copied this component from the reference from the Unity Chan and I paste it on my character and previously I have also set up the spring bones for the coat and the shirt and now I'm going to add the hair which is 11 plus 3 14 so 14 plus 27 with 41 so I'll add on to all this just shift them this setup can be quite tedious but the result will be rewarding and that's it and we're going to hit play and let's see if it's Get the head. It is bouncing. Right, so that's it. Spring bones for bouncing movement. Thanks for watching.